So Jocelyn wanted me to do a review, and I forget if she wanted me to do this one or another one. But this is a this is a heavy disc. It's a one five. That was good. So this is a one and a half K, and I think this is one of her best technical throws. Um, that was good. Okay. So Sheena actually talked about this yesterday that she she sort of wants to wind between this this and what Jeff does mill iron. So she'll go like a little not as deep, a little more controlled wind, which I think is fine. I think out of the back, I think she's good, but I think the one thing I don't like, Jocelyn, is your right foot. Like I would rather that be here instead of where it is. So. I, a little more aggressive with that. Your left knee, you're diving up that left side a little. I wouldn't mind if it would stay like right about here. You know, have that right down, right leg, and your left knee stays there, and then the right has to rotate down around it. I like that pickup time actually. The only thing I'll say about your right is that I really like that position. You know, if anybody else is watching my videos that I do technical analysis, I like the right leg on that, the right foot on that side of the circle. Now, this is the one part of her throw I don't like. I hate her, I hate Jocelyn's middle. Is that, like, right here, she's good. But as her right gets grounded, so her foot's in a good position, she starts to drop this left arm, and then her left heel rises up because of that. Okay, so there you see it. And then what's going to happen is, so I would rather that left arm elevated, a, like, you know, three inches, four inches, not too much. And I want that, that left heel down three, four inches. So it's like this byproduct transition technique here you change the left side and I think your your left arm changes your left foot should change and and this is my problem so like her left's grounded and the discus is back but I usually like to count when the left heels down and so she's stuck back on her right right now her left heels down but see how she's falling back she throws her head back and she's sort of stuck here throwing that head back so, uh, after these throws in this particular session, we started to really work on her not throwing her head back, and she had a couple where she really fucking ripped it, finishing, she was finishing forward more, and that head wasn't flying back. The reason why I picked this throw is because it's a one and a half, and I, and I think it was still a pretty good throw, but, again, because, Jocelyn, your head is back, you don't have any weight in that left foot, and you can tell you don't have any weight, because watch it moves moves too much you should be releasing with weight on that left and it's a strong left and you can just do like a step in reverse when you're doing those nons never know with jocelyn if she should non or do a full reverse but i i think i prefer her doing non reverses but maybe eventually she'll do some reverses so i think everything stems from the middle right here dropping that left raising that left leg, drop that left arm, and then when, when she raises that left leg, it takes a little while to get down, and then Jocelyn, you throw your head back so all your weight stays back instead of getting into your left. If you had weight in that left foot, that left toe shouldn't be doing that windshield wiper thingy. Okay. So on this particular throw, I really just think it's the middle the middle and the head back but again watch this for for a one and a half k non-reverse good throw that foot placement's great out of the back